if you ever wanted to get to the moon and adopt me, you can now. You ever wanted to be inside the rocket? Well, you can. Today, we're in the brand new Adopt Me Toy Shop update, and I'm going to be showing you some secret locations and secrets that you might not know, including the one where I am right now and how you can go and escape and get under the brand new Toy Shop map. Before this video begins, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. I'm going and giving away a completely free Mega Neon Turtle, so you guys definitely want to go and enter. There's only two more days left to enter this, so good luck. By the way, I also managed to go and trade my Neon Squirrel in Adopt Me the other day, so if you want to see what successful trade I got for a Neon Squirrel, keep watching until the end. So as we know, this brand new toy shop has came out in Adopt Me, and we want to go and know some secrets about it, see some cool things, and go and check it out. So today, I'm going to show you everything Thing that you might not know about this brand new toy shop. Obviously the toy shop has its main entrance door right at the front where you can then simply go and walk into the room. However, what if I told you there is a way you could sneakily get into it and get under the map? Simply go and get your favorite stroller. My favorite stroller is definitely the crate stroller. I don't know why, it just looks cool. Then you want to do is get a fly or a ride pet and walk into this corner and then just push. And after a little while, you can then click fly and you will get through. Actually, you might not even need a pet at all. You just need to walk up into this corner and just push down. And after a little while, it will push you down into it. And um, you'll then be under the map just like so. I didn't click on anything. I didn't need a pet. And now you are under it, which is really cool because you can see people who are like running above you. So if someone's right there, you can sometimes like click on them and try and trade them. And people are like really confused that how in the world did you get under here? And as for getting out, there is no possible way to escape apart from going and teleporting back to gifts. So I guess you can go and do that. There's actually a faster way. Simply just click teleport to the toy shop by going into your backpack, pressing toys and press get toys and it'll take you directly to the toy shop. As we know, right in here, this is the brand new toy shop update. There is a bunch of brand new toys for you to go and collect, and it is pretty cool. You can go and get different colors, buy a balloon for 120, and then you get to choose what color it's going to be. So that's actually really cool that you get to go and choose the color. I'm going to choose a red one because my outfit is red and cool, and it matches this little pirate over here. There are some secret places in here where you can actually go and use them to go and escape out of the map, which is actually pretty cool to go and do. So if you were to go and follow up these red stairs, you can go and complete this somewhat of an obby. If you want to call it an obby, it doesn't really have a prize or an award. I really wish there was some type of award you'd go and get by doing this because it's just for a bit of fun, I guess. But you can go and run up and keep jumping. And what you want to do is not fall off. That is definitely not what you want to do. You can simply just use a fly pet if you happen to have one and go up to one of these doors. What you then want to go and do is get your stroller out, make sure your pet's in it and walk up to this door and start poking through. You'll then notice that your pet has disappeared into this black hole of mystery. What you want to go and do is then click on your pet and press fly. If you press ride, you'll pretty much fall to your doom, so I really wouldn't recommend going and doing that. As you can see, you have now escaped it, and we can go and check out what this is. This right here looks like a moon. There is literally a moon on the outside. You can go and kind of stand on it. So if you ever wanted to get to the moon and adopt me, you can now tell your friends that you flew so high into the sky and adopt me that you landed on the moon itself. Let's go and continue to explore what this looks like. There is a bunch of cool looking shapes here. There's some clouds, a lot of random, random pieces, which could mean anything. And one of the strangest things is this. This might just look like a normal square box. However, you can fly into the box. It's like an invisible, transparent, pointless box of pointlessness. If I am to go and drop, you fall through it and it has no purpose. And now you land on a big orange looking platform, which is pretty cool in case you like orange, I guess. There's also a bunch of these little platforms down at the bottom, which kind of look like an obby themselves, where you just go, oh, don't eat me off, don't do it. Oh, that was so close to being eaten off. It looks like you can kind of just run on these and walk the plank or something. I'm not too sure what the purpose to this is. Oh, well, there's like a secret city underneath it, guys. Let's go and check that out. 
Okay, so we're gonna go and fly underneath, and it looks like there is a hidden city upside down. I have never seen an upside down house inside of Adopt Me, so today is the first time I've ever seen one. Oh, whoa, it said I can press E. What can I press E and do? I can buy a grappling hook from here. You ever wanted to buy the secret grappling hook? Well, you can go and do so. I'm not going to spend 2,000 bucks on a grappling hook though, as much as I would love one. What else can we buy? A unicycle. Yes, let's buy it. Let's choose a red unicycle. Please don't put me in it right now. Okay, phew. We didn't get given it. Alright, so this right here is actually a building and it's kind of got these little neon bits going on and it's pretty cool. I'm assuming they just did this accidentally. A dummy typically doesn't normally go and leave mystery buildings upside down under the map. Like, why would a dummy secretly just leave an upside down building? Uh, that is so strange. I'm gonna see if we can actually go and get into this upside down building. To go and do so, simply go and get your stroller out and walk through and see if it allows us to push into it. This place seems to be a bit more challenging to go and get into than I thought, so I'm not too sure if we can. Okay, now my pet is stuck inside of the wall. I'm pretty sure pirates are not meant to do that. Yeah, it's definitely a bit glitchy sometimes. I'm not sure it's always going to go and work, but I'm going to keep trying and getting through. I am now stuck inside the wall. Um, great. No, I fell off while trying to glitch through. I'm just going to fall to my doom now, aren't I? Oh no, poor Mr. Mega Robin. I guess there is something blocking us from allowing us to go and get through into this part of the building. As much as I'd love to go and get into it, it seems that it's actually genuinely impossible to go and do so. Potentially you can if you strike lucky and manage to glitch, but I don't think we can actually go and get inside of this little building. Okay, I've managed to sneak my pit in. I'm going to press fly and see what happens. Okay, yeah, it doesn't actually work on every single wall. Sometimes you just kind of get stuck and this type of technique to go and get into the walls doesn't work. However, it does look like we can go and get into this rocket. So we're going to see what happens if we can. All right, so what you need to go and do for this is have a friend who has a stroller. You need to go and dress up as a child and then get into the stroller. And if you're then pushed into it, you should be able to go and get through. I mean, it would work if they didn't start falling to their doom. All right, we're trying again. I think I'm in and now I'm inside the rocket. Yes, brilliant. You ever wanted to be inside the rocket? Well, you can. It is just slightly more difficult than you think. Um, the purpose to it, probably not much. I mean, it might be good for a game of hide and seek. You like hide and seek, you want to hide inside the rocket, um, then hey, there you go. You can kind of see the explosion from the end. Um, so if you do want to get into this, it is quite difficult. Um, but it's really good for a game of hide and seek. If you're somehow playing a game of hide and seek and you have to hide only in the toy shop, then this is actually a really good location to go and do. Let me know down below in the comment section, what is your favorite location? Is it escaping out of the map, being inside of here? Be sure to go and let me know. We can, however, go and trade people through this. This guy said this rocket looks sus. Um, so I imagine he can just see us writing and it's gonna say that the rocket is speaking to them So it does seem it would be quite strange that the rocket is now speaking uh, We're gonna say hi. Can they see us? I think they can uh, they said hi cookie we're, we're inside the rocket guys it's pretty cool if you like rockets you can hide inside of it oh and by the way if you want to know what i traded for my neon squirrel i actually got a really good deal i managed to go and trade it for this let's see if it will load this right here so i got a neon flyer kit soon two neon flyer kit soon a neon elephant which is so cool two octopuses a kitsune a ride potion as well bear in mind that this was like the first ever neon squirrel and i traded it within half an hour obviously the value of it goes down after a while but that's actually a really big win to me let me know down below he said i'm outside of the sus rocket i think he is anyway if you enjoyed this video leave it a thumbs up and let me know some more secrets down below in the comment section i hope you have a great and fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next one and use star code candy bye